But I've always known I would marry rich. Why should I be ashamed of that? And I believe we have some power over who we love in this world. It, it isn't just something that happens to a person. I'm not a poet. I'm just a woman. And as a woman, I have no way to make money in this world. Not enough to earn a living and to support my family. And, and even if I did have money, which I don't, it would belong to my husband the very moment we were married. And if we had children, it would belong to him, not me. They would be his property. So don't sit there and tell me that marriage isn't an economic proposition because it is. It may not be for you, but it most certainly is for me. And here's the funny thing. After four years of slaving away at this school, I go home today and I find this. I got the small envelope, the one that reads, Sorry, Paris, but we're not interested. Try again next year. Love, Harvard. <gasps> I'm not going to Harvard. <gasps> I'm not going to Harvard. I had sex, but I'm not going to Harvard. And if you had asked me which of those two events I thought would be the least likely to happen, would not have been the not going to Harvard. <laughs> She's never had sex. She's a shoe in Pack your chastity belt, Gilmore, because you're going to Harvard. Sorry for what, Abigail? Sorry for corrupting my husband or for sending him to the gallows? You sat at my table next to my sons. I welcomed you into my confidence and what did that kindness and trust get me? My husband was hung before even laying eyes on our last son grasped fully the horrors and the indignations that we proctors endured while John ticked off the days waiting to be hung for, for saying that you and your friends deserve to be whipped for your mischief making, for some careless words that he uttered. You are an audacious whore, and a stupid one at that, to come to my home and look at me with your lying face. Well, this system sucks. I mean, what? A million people get to spend eternity in paradise and everyone else is tortured for eternity? Come on. I mean, I wasn't freaking Gandhi, but I was okay. I was a medium person. I should get to spend eternity in a medium place like Cincinnati. Everyone who wasn't perfect but wasn't terrible should get to spend eternity in Cincinnati. Unless there was something we could do, unless you could teach me. <laughs> you could teach me how to be good. I mean, that was your job, right? Professor of ethics? No one knew I was a problem when I first arrived here. Things only started getting crazy after I was an asshole to everyone at the party. Oh, you know, I'm trying to say asshole and not asshole, right? Okay. Let me earn my place here. Let me try to learn how to be good. Let me be your ethical guinea pig. If I walk out of here looking like this, I'm toast. So my soul is in your hands, soulmate. What's it gonna be?